Hello. The vet rang last night. We've had the results of the biopsy taken on the lump that was removed from Molly's side. Unfortunately, the news isn't good. Uh, but we go back to the vets in a couple of days' time to have these stitches removed. And presumably then he'll give us some more detail and tell us whether there's any further treatment required uh, based on the results of that biopsy. In the meantime, we carry on as normal. Uh, me and Molly are just about to go for a walk. Come on, Mo. Hello. We're back from the vets. There's good news. Then there's bad news. This is Molly's um, lab report. Uh, what I'm going to do, rather than try and read this out to you, um, I'll put a copy up on screen and you can just pause the screen and have a read of it. Um, the good news is, Molly's stitches are healing up really well. The stitches are out now, I hope you can see that. Molly, come here. I'm not too sure if you're getting this. But Molly's stitches have healed up really, really well. The wound's healed well. So we're, we're, we're okay with that. Um, but the upshot of this report is that that fatty lump that Molly had, that we've got rid of, it was a soft tissue sarcoma grade 2. Uh, but anyway, read the report uh, and then come back to me. Okay, uh, Molly and me are just going to have a piece of toast now, that's something that's not going to change. I'm still going to uh, share my food with my dog and that's that. Whatever the report says. Yep, yeah. I'm still going to share my food with you Molly. So, what's the way forward? Well, Molly's 13 now and the vet didn't really give us any um, advice as to the way forward um, other than to see what happens. Let this wound heal up. Uh, let's see if they've got rid of all the uh, problem. And if they haven't got rid of the problem and it comes back again, well, we'll, we'll take that on board when it happens, won't we, Molly? Yes, we will. Uh, but I've got to tell you, she's as fit as a fiddle, this dog. It's unbelievable. If I'd gone through what she'd gone through, and bear in mind I am a man, so we are soft, I would have been in bed for a week. I think it was two days later, Molly was jumping in and out of the boot of my car with all those stitches in her back. Boy, they don't half recover quick dogs. Don't you? You do recover quickly, Molly. Am I talking too much? So what we're, uh, what we're planning on doing this year, in spring, we're going to plant some vegetables together. Nothing changes. In summer, we're going to harvest and eat those vegetables together. Again, nothing changes. You know Molly loves carrots. She loves potatoes. And I love giving them to her.
we've got quite a few small mollies in here, haven't we? And what we'll do is, I think we'll ask Molly to do as a taste test. We've got a small purple one. Um, we'll get a small, let me see, white one, purple white, and we'll get a small orange one, and we'll let Molly do a test test for us. Let me see, Molly, find a small orange one for you. How's that? Oh, and there's these yellow ones as well. Have we got a small yellow one? We haven't actually got a... Yes, we have. Is that one? A spotted one. Yep. And that's a small yellow one. So I think we've got yellow, orange, white and purple. We'll do a molly taste test, shall we? Seeing as you're here, we'll do a molly taste test. Let me move all these out the way, then these are yours. Okay, we're going to go with the uh, bog standard orange carrot first. How's that taste, Molly? Well, Molly's not answering. She's got good manners, she doesn't speak with a mouthful. Um, all we can assume is if you wallops it, it tastes okay. Do you agree? Okay, move back Molly. Come back here please. We're going to go with this uh, yellow one now. Here's an orange one, that's your bog standard again. I think you've already had one of those. Is that okay? Yeah, that'll be okay. She's ate lots of carrots. Um... Now there are, people will tell you, the carrot leaves are quite nutritious and good for you and very tasty. Well, clearly Molly's not up for them. Just the carrots for Molly. You can have the carrot tops. Right, move back Moll. Come over here. That's the red one, the purple one. Molly's never had one of those before, I don't think. Well, I might be wrong. Well that one didn't touch the sides either, so I'm assuming that that one tasted okay. And this last one, it's a small white one. So we'll be doing that this summer, okay. We're going to visit the lakes and rivers and swim in them.
we're going to our local seashore together. In autumn, we'll collect seaweed. and watch the sunset.
in winter will cool the soil with a layer of chop and drop preparing for the following year when hopefully we'll both still be gardening won't we Mol? yeah we'll both still be gardening okay so we'll just finish this toast um, and send me your comments Okay, so from homegrown veg, it's me and Molly, this is homegrown veg, signing out. Yeah. You're a good girl, Molly. You are. You're a good girl. In a threat here, Wackhorn with a little return ball. <laughs> and it's into the top of the net. Craig Molly, I'll take you for the walk at half time. Look, I missed that goal. Well, it's been coming. Poor ball out from Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Don't no, we'll go for a walk at half time. Quick with the interplay. Good girl. Let and me watch this replay. Forward. See here, poor ball out. I think it's Ramsey. Onside. Little passion waggle was brilliant. Good girl. We talked about the calmness he didn't show before. But he did there, didn't he? Well, beautifully uh, worked goal there. For we'll go for a war at half time. On VAR, we're having a VAR check for the first time. Uh, in the match tonight, just to make sure that all is well.